curtain number one. First edition. And a new car. These are some of the top stories this week under the Pentastar. A Ram had a big presence at the National Truck Equipment Association Work Truck Show in Indianapolis this week. The show annually attracts thousands of exhibitors from all areas of the commercial truck segment to see and be seen, and most importantly, communicate with customers and potential customers. The Ram brand came ready to compete with light duty, heavy duty, and chassis cab trucks, as well as the unveiling of the 2012 Ram cargo van. A couple of big items that the customers asked us to deliver on. They wanted um, solid window coverings that would protect their items from a security standpoint. And on top of that is it gives them a great place to showcase their company name. The other area is a flat load floor. They want a solid structure that they can put bins on, they can put shelving units, or just have an overall cargo area where they can haul large items. Ram Brand President and CEO Fred Diaz understands the importance of shows like the NTEA and connecting with the customers. These shows are incredibly important. As a matter of fact, last year we did a total of about 11 shows. This year we're doing well over 100 shows. That again shows our commitment to this commercial truck business and how serious we are about growing this foundation of, of commercial business with our trucks and our van offerings. Well, together with Mexico's President Felipe Calderon, Chrysler Group CEO Sergio Marchionne celebrated the launch of the all-new 2012 Fiat 500 at Los Pinos, the official residence and office of Mexico's president. Marchionne recognized the importance of the Toluca assembly plant where the Fiat 500 is built the workforce, and the all-new Fiat 500 to the future success of the company. The plant will build more than 120,500s for export to the United States, Canada, South America, as well as China by the third quarter of 2011. In fact, Fiat North America has begun delivering the first Fiat 500 Prima Edizioni, or first edition models, to customers throughout the United States this week. Laura Suave, head of Fiat North America, presented the Prima Edizione No. 11 to Sean Fulkerts of Douglasville, Pennsylvania at Criswell Fiat of Gaithersburg, Maryland. The limited edition 2012 Fiat 500 models were offered to Fiat enthusiasts in the U.S. as a reward for their years of loyalty to the Fiat brand. I've been uh, a fan of Fiat since uh, they, they were here uh, the first time around, and uh, I've always had a Fiat ever since I got my driver's license. Um, we currently have uh, a good collection of them, and uh, it was never a second thought that if they were ever to come back, uh, we would be first in line to, to try to get the very first one. We've been gone out of the marketplace for 28 years, and there's been a huge demand for small cars, and the Fiat brand, there's such a passion and love for this brand. So it's finally back, and uh, again, we're just excited to be here. And speaking of new cars, to celebrate his record-breaking 2010 NASCAR Nationwide Series championship season, Brad Keselowski of the Dodge Penske Racing was presented with a commemorative edition 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT8 392. And those are some of the top stories this week under the Pentastar. For Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Ed Garston reporting.